Hi guys, um, this is a um, project on pop art. Um, there's artists like Andy Warhol and Roy Lichtenstein that did uh, made pop art popular, and um, they took everyday objects such as soup cans and uh, flowers and portraits and made them really interesting. Here was an example of Andy Warhol's soup can. So made a um, everyday object really interesting with color and line. Um, and a couple things that they did um, for the art industry was um, add um, bende dots into their artwork. They're not just polka dots. They have a rhythm there. And in between each row is another row and it's pretty precise. It was like construction um, material that they would lay on something and it would make a, a print. So Bende Dots is tagged by pop artists. They also use a lot of diagonal lines, um, bright colors, and everyday objects. So since um, Easter um, is in April. I'm sure you have a lot of candy lying around your house after um, April and I know with everybody inside I think we're eating a lot of candy. So here's a good way to put that candy to use. Um, we can use it um, as still life to draw and we can kind of gather some um, inspiration from the packaging. Um, here's some cool, this is more Valentine's Day um, themed but we can still make it into um, Easter too. Um, got sweethearts um, and foxes, but you can see how advertising takes um, some diagonal lines in them and they use it. So this is a um, really good example of pop art. It stands out, it's colorful, um, it's really interesting. So I like to use what I see on these to make something. Um, so you're going to take um, a small piece of paper. Um, it could be in your um, art journal, it could be in a sketchbook, whatever you have. Um, it doesn't have to be too large. Um, but we could take some things that we see from these candy pieces and we could make some pop art. So some good examples um, of pop art are taking one object and possibly, uh, you know, blowing it up bigger. So I could use this heart-shaped um, candy and blow that up. I know that, you know, Skittles are not that big, but I could take the heart and do that. Okay, so what I would do is think of, uh, pick a, a candy that you like the best and maybe focus on that one. So in this one I did Skittles, this one I'm going to do hearts. Um, just a couple tips for you as you're working. Try to fill the space. See how this is um, from corner to corner. There's something going on. It lists the the title of the or the brand of uh, candy. It also says pop art. So those would be important parts that you should put in your um, design. So you could utilize the bende dots um, in different ways. You could have this pattern of the bende dots as hearts if you want, or you could keep it as dots, or you could do it as any you know shape that would work with your design. But make sure you do this pattern where it's in between each row. And I'm just saving papers. So I'm drawing with my dry erase marker. So then you could keep that pattern going if you wanted to. Here's where you could get um, creative you could put diagonal lines within your design. You could um, fill them in with color if you'd like. Kind of 
kind of goes with um, rhythm, kind of shows rhythm. Okay, so then I could do that. I could um, use some other things that I find off um, candy pieces. Um, some of the, just minutes. Uh, some of, I've got a couple kiddos helping me <laughs> um, today. You like that one? Yep, you can eat it. Um, fun part, part of being the art teacher's son, you get to eat the candy after. Um, I could use the lettering um, that I see on here to make it, um, more interesting try to make that pop art match heart? that fun dip lettering this is a heart it's a heart from the heart now don't forget to maybe list the title so that was Reese's so maybe I would put Reese's here and you could match the um, lettering if you wanted to but then you could put the title um, the bende dots another way to do those is use um, a compass in these compasses, some of you have these, and you can use them again. This is the perfect way to make a perfect circle. I can tell if you freehand a circle. It is pretty difficult. So make sure you utilize tools, rulers, compasses to make your project even cleaner and nicer, okay? So then you can um, add in that detail. And it should be lots of color, lots of patterns. Um, you can use a ruler for things. I wouldn't go too busy of a background. I have seen a lot of projects where they get a little bit busy. So just be careful um, with your design that it's not too crazy because then you kind of lose that aspect of it. Then you could fill a couple lines in if you wanted. So you'll need some diagonal lines, you'll need bende dots, you'll need pop art as the title, um, and you could put Reese's in there somewhere. So. Um, you could color if you really like um, using Sharpies. You could use Sharpies. If you really like using color pencil, you can go for that. But really, just make it yours and make it um, interesting. Um, make it colorful. And you're welcome to look up more about pop artists. Um, they've got a lot of cool stuff. Um, the Tate Modern website has some really neat um, pop art examples so there you go that's what um you can do for the pop art it might take you um a couple days to fully color Mommy. something so plan to spend a couple days doing this um see how neat the um the bendade dots were here and even in my lettering i spent a long time doing that you could use um stencils for that i did use a stencil for this so kind of you know grab a lot of things from your house and use um, skill and craftsmanship in doing your project so i'm looking forward to seeing your easter candy pop art projects have fun